Vlogmas day 18. How was everybody's weekend? Mine was boring. That's okay. It was a kind of a blah. I don't feel like doing anything weekend. Oh, see my little headband today. Rudolph the red nose reindeer. There we go. How was everyone? I already asked you that. Never mind. So today, I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to eat. Oh, yes, I do. Never mind. I take that back. Amy bought me some sweet potatoes. I don't know where to put you. Let's see. Put him over there. Uh, yes, Amy bought me some sweet potatoes, so that's what I'll be having. Um, huh, I have this red mark for my stupid mask. <sighs> hate that thing. I still don't think it's doing anything, but that's my opinion anyway. Um, yeah, so I think I'll be eating sweet potatoes today. Um... I don't eat as many of those as I would the, you know, white potato. So, we'll see. Um, I may, I may or may not, um, oh, I have bells on. I may or may not add a little vegetables in today. I miss my veggies a lot. And I think it's, when things calm down, um, I think I'll probably just eat veggies because that I felt the best on. That's it. That's all I'm going to eat. I don't care. There's plenty of nutrients and vegetables. I don't need to be adding all this other stuff to it. Um, <clears throat> it's very nutritious and I can always add seeds, you know, hemp seeds and uh, nuts and seeds. Hemp, uh, what do you call it? Nutritional yeast. I don't need potatoes. As much as I love potatoes and I never thought I'd have to give them up, I don't think, I mean, I'm not going to say, you know, give them up entirely, but I won't be able to eat them like I usually do. Um, I'd probably take maybe a small potato and cut it up and put it in a stir fry, something like that, but very sad because I like potatoes and this is how what I wanted to do and it was a complete fail but I don't know I just never thought I would feel this way on them I mean after a week of just potatoes you know plain potatoes no nothing on them you should feel amazing from what everything I've read and everything I've seen People have, you know, felt amazing. Well, I guess when you have a nightshade intolerance, um, it doesn't work for you. I'm sad. But I have to move on. I gotta just stick to eat my greens, eat my greens, which is kind of hard to do in the winter months. Um, but I'm gonna figure it out. I have certain things written down I'm going to try. I'm going to do a little bit at a time, introduce it a little bit at a time. Um, I mean, I'm talking tablespoons here because um, that's the way the GI doctors recommend uh, for people with my kind of digestive issues. Um, and I also <clears throat> started taking apple cider vinegar again before meals. Uh, because I remembered years, years and years ago, um, I did that with some great success. So that's the plan for that. So there, I just, I just have to remember that, 
this is famous, uh, I don't know who said this, but I have, I have to drill it in my head. Like, we have to breathe, but we don't have to breathe tobacco. We have to drink, but we don't need to drink alcohol or caffeine. And we have to eat, but we don't have to eat junk food. So I have to get that in my head that I have to treat junk food as a drug, and, and that's a fact. I'll, it's a, a fact. So if I can quit cigarettes, and well, quitting alcohol was nothing, but if I can quit cigarettes and I can quit caffeine, I can certainly quit junk food. And I mean, junk food is, is all the sweets, the salts, all the, all the processed food. Junk food equals processed food. So if I can do all those other, other things, there is no reason why I can't give up junk food, processed food. So that is the plan. That is the plan. The countdown begins. Now it began, I don't know, how many days ago? <laughs> um, so that's that. I'm done talking about food. Um, Gonna drink more water. I've been trying to increase my water. Um, less coffee and tea. Well, decaf. Less, less of that and tea. More water. <sighs> what else? I've got to order some. I gotta order some meds. I still haven't cleaned the dang microwave. It's gonna walk away on its own pretty soon if I don't clean it. It's really gross. Finish my coasters. I don't know if I showed you this one. This is the one I, it's almost done. A little reindeer. I just gotta put eyes and a nose on them. I'm gonna try and make more of those. But, um, what else? Oh, I gotta order some uh, pastries. Not for me. Order pastries for the holiday. Um, because we, she's having people over on Christmas Day. So there's this place um, near us called, uh, by the Dozen Bakery. Oh my word. The, the things that are in that store. I mean, they have Kreller, you know, donuts, but they make them long. And I, and I think they're about, oh, they're probably about eight inches long. Oh my word. But, um, they're not for me. Not my food. So, that's it for me for now. Oh, I gotta do the mindfulness mindfulness challenge. I did do the photo challenge. Finally, finally, finally. We got a star on the tree. It's a miracle. <laughs> it's a miracle. We finally have a star. So, I took a picture of that. Um... What else? Crossed off Die Hard. We saw that. And we watched this movie last night. Oh, I, I'm, I think it was on Netflix. I'm not sure what channel it was on. Um, oh my gosh, what was the name of it? It just flew out of my head. Violent Santa? Something like that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was the most bizarre movie I've ever seen. If you like what I call shoot 'em, bang 'em up, slice 'em, dice 'em, blood gory movies, that was it. Violent night, wasn't it? Violent, violent night? Maybe. I don't know. It was the weirdest movie ever, but the, it was good, but it was weird. It was almost like you were watching a. Um, like a video game, like, you know how they, you know, shoot and slice and dice and blood goes everywhere, like Mortal Kombat type stuff. That's what the, the movie was. Uh, it was kind of comical, actually, but um, I don't know. Check it out. I think it was called Violent Santa or Violent Night. 
I, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> uh, so, what else is going on? Mm, nothing. Tomorrow we go to the doctor. Sully has an appointment. I go for um, my shingles vaccine. <sighs> what else? I'm not sure if it's COVID too. I can't remember. Last time I got the flu. Something. I don't. I don't remember honestly which one I got. Okay. Here we go. Challenge number eighteen. Little Christmas trees. I'm gonna sip a tea. All right. Again with the glare. Ugh. My I, I can't wait to get my eyes examined. All right. Use no, your. No. <laughs> Shush. Um. Use your nose mindfully. Oh man, I have a wicked nose. I can smell anything. Um, your sense of smell can be one of the most powerful factors in getting you into the Christmas spirit. Today, be alert to all the festive aromas you come across, both at home and outside, and let your nose take center stage. Fresh pine, gingerbread, incense, cinnamon, candles, nutmeg, peppermint, the list goes on and on. When you notice a smell that you associate with Christmas, stop what you are doing, bring your nose to the scented object, close your eyes and focus on the sensations and feelings that come with the experience of smelling that aroma. Perhaps the smell reminds you of a specific time or place from a past Christmas. Maybe it stirs a familiar and unexpected emotion in you. Maybe it ramps, you, ramps up the anticipation or the feeling of goodwill. Whatever happens or thoughts you experience in this moment, just acknowledge and examine them for a lingering moment. Then reopen your eyes and ease back into what you were doing before. Focusing so solely on the scent of an object lends an immediate immediacy, immediacy to our attention and brings us into the moment. Scent can also be very helpful in reducing anxiety. Mm. I love that. Our house, our house definitely smells like Christmas. We have pine scent in one room we have cinnamon in another we have spruce in another here they me is it is it snowing no but it is frigid it's frigid outside she says I, it was cutting for me ah uh, it's, it's knife like it's windy oh windy you know how you know how the school is like a wind tunnel yes so, like the walk from the car to the main door was brutal. Oh my! When it's cold here, it's it's freaking cold here. I'm it's sorry. It's like I don't. It's like 20 degrees colder here than it is back home. Okay. Well, that's that. That was a good one. Use your nose mindfully. I can't right now. Oh yeah, she <laughs> she can't right now. She's all stuffy. She got a she got a head cold. So, all right, well, that's it for now. I will talk to you all later. in time